What a crazy time to be alive. I find it weird that I got to start this discussion with this statement, but here we go. I do not support Kamala Harris, and I do not support Donald Trump. I think I'm like most of us out there. I'm somewhere right in the middle. And I think I'm with most people when I say, oh my God, I can't wait for this thing to be over. Every day, everything you see is Kamala or Donald Trump coming at you from every direction. It permeates our entire life. And regardless of what they say on TV, I don't think there are many that are going to get swayed. You're kind of where you're at. You're kind of at the spot where you're going to be in November. And so then you have people publicly endorse each of the candidates. Why do we care who Taylor Swift is going to vote for? Does she have a foreign policy? Where does she stand on the economy? Or how about climate change? Because according to this article on the internet, her total flight emissions for 2022 were calculated at 8,293 tons of CO2, which is 1,184 times more than the average person's annual emissions. That means you can get 1,200 people together, add up all their annual emissions, and it's still less than what Taylor Swift does in one year. Do we need to get advice on how to change our oil from LeBron? Do we get advice on how to bake chocolate chip cookies from The Rock? Are we asking Michelle Obama for tips on how to parallel park? Are we asking Dave Grohl about marital fidelity? Why do we care what Taylor Swift thinks about the presidential election? Everybody's got an opinion, and the goal is to somehow align yourself with the side that's going to be on the right side of history. Because according to what I read, there's a good side and there's an evil side. How does that benefit all of us? How is framing your side the right choice, the just choice, and the other side, a bunch of uneducated idiots, gonna do anything for all of us in the long run? Isn't this a place where we all gotta live together? The thing that bothers me most is that we don't have a choice. You get to choose between Kamala Harris, who is arguably the most unpopular vice president in history besides Dan Quayle and Dick Cheney, who, although she was deeply unpopular, became the Democratic Messiah five seconds after Biden stepped down, which happened with no decision on the part of the American voter. The DNC just decided she was the new candidate. Doesn't that seem weird? On the other side, you have Donald Trump, who is probably one of the most unpopular people in the history of the universe. And if you read the news anywhere on the internet, you would think his evil matches that of Hitler. You cannot find a positive story about Donald Trump. So we have to pick between these two people. And in my opinion, it's either you love Donald Trump and you want to vote for him, or you hate Donald Trump and you want to vote for someone else. How is this a way to run a republic? How is this a way to manage an efficient, effective society? I don't know. I don't think it matters. There's a lot of talk of keep Trump out of office because democracy is at stake. Newsflash, we already had four years of him. We're still alive. And you know what else? If he wins and he gets in, he does four more years and then we never have to see him again. And if you're on Team Kamala, you're looking to do four more years of what we just did. You got to ask yourself, are you better off now? Are things better now than they were four years ago? Do you make more money? Does it cost any less to send your kids to college? Does it cost less to buy a cart full of groceries at the grocery store? Do you have fewer homeless people in your city? Do you feel more safe at the crime rates? Do you want to keep sending money to Ukraine? Because as of September 6, 2024, we have sent $55 billion over there. Couldn't we do something with that money here? And if you want to talk about abortion, Roe v. Wade was overturned when Biden was in office. Obama had the ability to codify it into federal law when he was in office. Do you think there's something else going on? Do you think maybe both of these parties benefit in keeping us mad at each other all the time? What if it's all a distraction? What if they don't want to fix anything ever, regardless of who's in office? What if there's so much money at stake, you could never have a real choice that would actually do anything? I mean, because if you honestly ask yourself, do you think Kamala is going to change anything? Do you think Trump is going to change anything? Do you think this whole system is broken and regular people like me and you are never going to benefit from any of it? Well, I don't know much, but I know what you can do is listen to as many different voices as possible. Listen to Bill Maher. Listen to Jon Stewart. Listen to Rachel Maddow. Listen to Joe Rogan. Listen to Jimmy Dore. Listen to Crystal and Sager. Listen to Patrick Bet David. Listen to CNN. Listen to MSNBC. Listen to Fox News. Read crazy shit on Twitter. 
Listen to Tucker Carlson and Alex Jones. And I don't care. Listen to Taylor Swift too. And then take all that stuff that you hear and try to filter out the nonsense and try to try to figure out what's really going on. Because right now, it's like we're waking up every day for breakfast and we're being told we get Cocoa Puffs or Lucky Charms. Why can't we get an omelet? What do you think? <laughs>